So here we're going to be making a battery. We have a piece of aluminum foil that's about 12 inches by 12 inches, some chromatography paper on top of paper towel, some activated charcoal, two alligator leads, and then some saturated sodium chloride solution. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a pipette and just put that sodium chloride solution all over chromatography paper and then the paper towel behind it will allow it to soak in or we'll keep it from making a giant mess rather and this is going to function as our salt bridge so this is going to kind of maintain charge neutrality as our redox reaction is occurring All right, so then I'm going to take that, my gloved hand, set that onto the aluminum foil, and then we're going to take one of the leads right in the middle there, like that. Okay, and then after that, all we're going to do is put activated charcoal so that it covers the entire metal component of that, like that. And then we're going to fold this over carefully, so I'm going to set this down for just a second. And connect our other electrode, and we have our battery. So here is our dry cell DC battery. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can do a couple experiments with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and check the voltage of this battery. First I'm going to make sure that this is working. So I'm going to hook up a 9 volt battery to get a reading. And 8.18, pretty good. Switching the polarity. And we get the negative result. I also have a 1.5 volt battery here. And when we hook that up, there it is, 1.56. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hook this up to our battery from before. And when we do that, we get 0.82 volts, okay? So that's the voltage running through our battery. 